Okay, so for this video, we're going to tackle this problem here. And the problem is 4 is to 20 as 15 is to what number? And uh, this topic, I'm not going to tell you the name of the topic. I don't want to give you any clues yet. But this is stuff that you would learn, let's say, at the middle school level or basic algebra level. So it's uh, pretty easy to solve. However, if you forgot how to solve a problem like this, it's uh, you know certainly important that you know how to do so. And I'm going to cover this step by step in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the, uh, the judge of that. Uh, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different uh, math courses. I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching a pre-calculus here shortly. I'm pretty excited about that. But I also have um, many uh, math courses, math test prep courses. So if you're preparing for an exam like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, um, Alex, AccuPlacer, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing entrance. Uh, you kind of get the uh, picture there. There's a lot of reasons uh, why people need to study math outside of a math course. So just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. I should have what you're studying for. If I don't, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously I help those of you that are just struggling in your math class. But uh, one thing that I can't do for you that you must do for yourself to be successful in mathematics, that is the following. That's notes. Okay, so over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me. Those students who really uh, do the work and take fantastic math notes almost always do very, very well in terms of their grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who say, I have a photographic memory, or maybe you have a good friend in your class that likes taking notes because you don't like taking notes, but they like taking notes and they're going to take notes for you. Then you'll copy their notes. Uh, or maybe you'd like to check on, on your cell phone, check out your social media during math class. Well, you know, listen, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but the reality is uh, we are quite distracted. And if you are distracted, even in, in the slightest in terms of uh you know, paying attention to your math teacher, you're going to get lost. Okay, it's just the, it's just the way it is. And by the way, uh, I made all these mistakes way back in the good old 1980s, so I know what it's like to be uh, distracted. So don't, um, you know, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person, uh, of course. But the thing is this: you, let's be honest, all right. If you want to do well in math, you have to remain focused. Focus is the key, and note taking will keep you focused. And the better your notes are the more focused you are okay and so you can kind of see how that works so work on your notes and um and believe me you'll start seeing the impact of doing that but in the meantime you still need something to study from so i offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra algebra one geometry algebra two and trigonometry you can find links to those notes uh in the description of this video as well okay so i'm gonna uh, get into the solution here in a second so if you don't want to see uh, the solution, uh, you know, pause the video. But uh, the problem is 4 is to 20 as 15 is to what? So we have some numbers and we have this word 2. So let me give you a hint, okay? This is a problem that is dealing with ratios and proportions, okay? So that's the main topic here, ratios and proportions. Now, if that helps you out and you're like, oh, okay, now I know what to do, well, then go ahead and do so. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into the solution now. Okay, so here is our problem. And I already kind of pre-wrote the solution. But here we have 4 is to 20 as 15 is to uh, some number. Okay, now this word 2, all right, is relevant to uh, uh, ratios. Now, another way we can write this is 4 is to 20. So if you're studying ratios and proportions and rates, this little colon like that means the word two, okay? But there's another way we can express that. I'm going to show you this in a second. So this is another notation that you might see. But uh, here, let's go ahead and break this down. So four is two twenty. Another way you can write this is, and this is the way we need to write this to solve this, is four is two twenty. And now we want to create a fraction. 
okay? So the fraction bar itself is like the word two. Okay, so let's just kind of uh, read this again. Four is two, and can we put that fraction bar 20? Okay, so that's the way we can write this. And a ratio and uh, a rate, okay? Because if you're studying ratios, uh, you're gonna probably be studying rates and uh, that means you're also going to be studying proportions, but basically uh, ratios and rates are fractions. Now, I don't want to get into uh, the complete full lesson on uh, rates, ratios, and proportions because that would just be too long. But, but effectively, though, um, ratios and rates have certain units of measure. Now, uh, with rates, we have different units of measure between the numerator and the denominator, and ratios uh, are the same. Okay, so uh, let me just give you a suggestion here. If you're, you want to know more about uh, ratios, rates, and proportions, I have a ton of videos on this in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my channel. I also teach this thoroughly in my algebra uh, courses um, uh, on my site. Okay, so if you really want to learn that, I would suggest maybe checking out my pre-algebra or algebra one course. Okay, now. So ratios and rates are fractions, and this word two is a ratio. So four is to 20, we can write it that way. Now we have this part of the problem it says four is to 20, okay, as 15 is to what? Well, what we need to do here is write a, another ratio, okay? So we're gonna uh, set two ratios equal to one another, and that is what the definition of a proportion is. A proportion is two equal fractions, but because ratios are uh, fractions themselves, uh, we can, we're basically setting two ratios equal to one another, two fractions, okay? So four is to 20 as 15 is to some number, okay? Now we don't know what that number is, so we're gonna put uh, this little uh, variable X, and this is the setup, okay? Now if you understand what I just did right here, then uh, basically at this point, what we have is just a proportion, okay? And to solve proportions, we just need some basic algebra. What we're gonna do is use what we would call the cross product, okay? So we're gonna take this these values and multiply crosswise, so four times X is four X, 20 times 15 is 20 times 15. So this is what we call uh, using the cross product, and this is how we solve basic proportion problems. So let's continue on. 4x is equal to 20 times 15, which means 4x is equal to 20 times 15 is 300. And to solve for x, I need to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 4. So I get 300 divided by 4 is 75, and that is the missing value. So now uh, we can just uh, say, it, uh, say it this way. 4 is to 20 as 15 is to 75. Okay, that's where our x was. And now if you notice, okay, both of these fractions will uh, simplify or reduce down to the fraction 1 fifth. Okay, and that is, you know, again, this fraction is equal to 1 fifth and this fraction is equal to 1 fifth. So we have two fractions that are equal to one another. That's the definition of a proportion. But that's basically it. This is a, a, a pretty standard, pretty basic ratio and proportion problem. There's, of course, others. And um, I'm going to encourage you to continue to practice this because these type of problems show up frequently on all kinds of tests. Okay, So a couple of recommendations. One, I have a ton of other uh, videos on rates, ratios, and proportions to include word problems in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. But I really teach this stuff uh, thoroughly in my algebra course in my math help program. Okay, so um, again, uh, don't confuse you watching this video and looking at me do math, doing math and understanding. You're saying, oh, okay, I get that, so therefore I know that, okay? And that's not the case. You have to practice uh, doing this stuff yourself, all right? So it's very deceiving. I know when you watch someone do something and you, you see what they're doing and you understand, but if you don't actually practice and do it yourself, it's not you're not gonna retain uh, or build that skill. All right, so if this video helped you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. Uh, it's my goal 
to teach math in a clear and understandable way. No one should be failing math these days. There's a ton of resources out there, uh, but you got to be doing the right things. Okay? You got to be, you know, uh, taking notes, getting help from your teacher. And then if you need additional instruction, there's programs like mine or my YouTube channel that can help you out. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.